Hi, I'm Mira Allen with your Manifesting Destiny Moon Update. So we have a new moon in Aries and um, I'm doing it on the morning of the new moon in Aries as the sun's rising up. So good morning, it's been bright and early start for me today and a, and a late night of dancing. So we have new moon 26 degrees in Aries and we have it at 11.57 a.m. on the eastern coast of Australia, so Sydney time 11.57 a.m. on the Sunday the 15th today. 2.57 a.m. on the 16th for London and we have 9.57 p.m. for the 15th uh, New York uh, Eastern Standard Time there. So Aries, you know we think about Aries as leadership, we think of um, politicians and um, moving forward in terms of leadership externally, you think of CEOs of companies or managing directors. I'd like you guys to take that feeling of what leadership is instead of being that like as an external thing bringing that leadership to be really internal with your inner alignment. We've had Mercury retrograde and now that's moving forward as well. So when you think of um, the way you communicate in your inner dialogue, where have you taken your leadership there? You know, your own inner personal questions every morning, your own inner dialogue and thoughts throughout your days. So what is that communication starting to now move forward with? What have you been mulling over over the last fortnight um, that you can now shift forward into in the next fortnight period to the next full moon? But not just the next full moon, also going into the next 28 days. You know, what we're doing now as Mercury goes forward, as this new moon is in Aries, you know, Aries is that fire sign. It is about getting things done. It has that a foundation and a propelling to move forward. I think of it, you know, as it's the most strong of the fire signs. Um, and the first sign of the zodiac and in terms of the tarot you look at it as the full card you know taking that leap and stepping out on you know into its adventure um, and going forward and going forth but really we have a chance to go forward and go forth with an amazing sense of presence a centered alignment now when we go forward from that place we move forward with a sense of real inner love and what we do on the inner, we have that on the outside. So where are we coming to that self-centeredness? You know, less time on social media, less time on the external, and more time on the internal. So where is it where we get to be in our own path, in our own walking and foraging our direction forward? Now this comes, especially in our inner alignment, it comes as a time where we, we start to move away from fear and we move forward with that grace. So a new moon in Aries is very much about moving forward in that grace. My flatmates just give me a wave. Hi. So this is a powerful thing to do when we are completely free of fear. You might have had things, you know, maybe it's the past 15, 10, 20 years, whatever it is for you, which might just be the last two weeks when Mercury's gone backwards and you've had a lot of transformation. And now we get to go, okay, I've, I've mulled all that stuff over. I'm sitting now in my centered presence. I've, I've, I'm doing the meditation. I'm doing the work. I have my alignment. What is it internally that I'm ready to really embark on, to reinvent myself in a new, a new version of the self? And what we do on the inner, we're recognizing that on the outer everywhere because we're one soul but part of this collective consciousness. So now that one drop of the ocean has decided, yes, I choose to be nourished. Yes, I choose to be healthy. Yes, I choose to live in my alignment of my freedom, of my, of my own passions. And that starts to resonate with the ocean as a whole. If every drop is vibrating at that frequency, we all elevate together. So we get a chance to not live on the old paradigm of politicians and distraction which is really what, you know, bigger pharmaceutical companies, politicians, and where we, the governments, and that biggest, you know, old paradigm of structure has come from. But now we have an opportunity individually to create this new critical mass. James Redfield wrote about it in the Celestine Prophecies. Um, Neil Donald Walsh discusses it in Conversations with God. Paulo Coelho talks about it in The Alchemist in a, in a narrative. So, you know, where is it, you know, that we, Eckhart Tolle talks about it in terms of presence, even in the power of now and new earth. Where is it now that we're actually shifting that inner critical mass of all of our cells? 
We are all just a bunch of cells as humans in that critical mass that's about to have a very powerful shift forward. And it's not about to, we're in it today. So it's no coincidence I'm recording this on the new moon so I could feel this energy. You know, sharing personally with you, I danced last night and I danced with the inner space of freedom and joy and what felt self-centered for me. Not wearing, you know, high heels and all that, but wearing my sneakers, feeling good and having a good sweaty dance with my eyes closed and my hat on half the time and just really feeling that inner space of power and fire and centeredness so that that could radiate around me throughout the dance floor and beyond. You know, when we look at our energy, it radiates constantly. It doesn't matter what vicinity we are in with people, we are, we are constantly linked to them. We, we're starting to surpass that feeling of relying on our technology and we're starting to be able to connect with people from a soul level. You know, my family, we do that automatically. We just connect on a soul level. We know where we're at without words. So when we come in more into our meditation space, we start to get that inner centered and alignment presence that radiates wherever we go and it starts to become the new norm, free of the noise of television and free of the noise of the humdrum of advertising on the radio or whatever it is that distracts our minds. But instead we're choosing to be powerful, we're choosing to be centered and we're choosing to move forward. This new moon 26 degrees in Aries. The number two is of the heart. Number six is how we receive. Two and six create eight, the infinite flow. Find that today. Find that over the next 14 days to the full moon, let it amplify. What are your seeds of intention moving you toward? And how is that going to resonate over this next month to the next new moon? I will see you on the full moon. My name is Mira Allen. If you don't know your moon sign, your sun sign, or you'd like a chart done, find my email details down below, mira at manifestingdestiny.com.au. For those of you that haven't subscribed or you want to share this or you want to comment, you want to ask me a question, feel free to do that down below. Happy new moon in Aries. Namaste.